This is like Santa Claus came all at once and brought a lot of gifts, uh, a lot of high-tech toys that will make it possible for us to do the best research possible. We started in the 1970s making uh, buildings more energy efficient. The rest of society really recognized only in the last uh, 10 years. So we were ahead of the curve. My research is focused on solar energy utilization in buildings to produce solar electricity, solar heat, and daylight. A zero net energy building produces as much energy as it consumes in a year. This facility will allow us to apply climatic loads, humidity, temperature, wind, and solar, and then study how the building responds to these loads. This lab is invaluable in doing this research. What I'm really enjoying about this facility is that we can run experiments so quickly. Very often we have to do that work in two feet of snow. I've heard stories about PhD students having to shove snow in the middle of the winter, waiting for a sunny day for his uh, PV panel to be able to expose the sun and conduct the experiment. Instead of waiting a year outside for uh, five or six days, I can replicate these conditions in a couple of hours. From minus 40 degrees C to plus 50, and all the environmental the conditions are controlled in the lab and can be repeated. And I can virtually try any possible configuration in order to optimize and see what functions better under which conditions. So it's speed, it's accuracy, it's repetitive results. Those are the main advantages of the system working here. By comparing the different systems, we can develop new methods that don't exist right now. We can develop new standards and enable the building industry to build net zero energy or actually energy plus buildings with confidence of performance. This is a unique facility that allows us to do these kind of tests. It's definitely a lucky time for me to be here.